you have just listened to a bunch of pretty useless chit chat because in the end oh hello and welcome to what and what you don't need and today's video is going to be a random series of reflections on these casio watches which are on the g shocky side even though this one the trusty dw 290 is not a G-Shock, but it's a heavy duty watch anyway, and their functions. So today I had a 20 minute slot of free time, which is kind of rare, and I could have gone for an espresso, but no, since I was just walking by a park, uh, which happened to have pull-up bars and dip parallel bars, I decided to get some 15 minutes of exercise. And I was wearing this watch, as I told you, and when I am short on time, which is almost always, I like to train the Imam way. What is the Imam? I made a video about that. And this is not a fitness channel, this is a channel about watches, but I like to exploit my Casio watches using all of their abilities. I was saying, I decided to train Imam, which basically means doing a set of exercises every minute on the minute when the minute strikes, and for that reason, the timer is very, very, very useful. But lo and behold, the timer on this watch, which for most of the other aspects is one of the best watches in the world. Period. This is not my opinion, this is a scientific fact. I was saying, this watch does not have the auto repeat function in its timer. This is a super, super duper watch. This is not the updated version and the code number of this one is the GWM5600 without the U and it has has a fantastic countdown timer but not the auto repeat function this got me thinking i could have worn this other beauty which is a g-shock triple tan i made some videos on these ones triple tan means that this adheres to the original g-shock philosophy which was that of having a battery that lasts for 10 years and you can see it somewhere written here that it can withstand a water pressure of 10 bar and that it can fall from a height of 10 meters this little gem go check out my videos on this has the timer auto repeat function you can see it there when these two arrows chasing each other are shown it means that when the timer reaches zero it will start counting down automatically again or i could have worn the dw290 which has the timer and also the auto repeat function and also the the light thing the fancy blinking light function i could copyright this name the fancy blinking light function also this watch has so when there's this symbol here it means that whenever a beeping signal is heard the screen of the watch will also flash with the beautiful illuminator turquoise ring or i could have used this watch the marvelous dw5750 which has as you can see the auto repeat function and also the fancy blinking light function. So I don't exactly remember if the updated version of the GWM5600 has the auto repeat function and also the fancy blinking light function. The fancy blinking light function. But if it does, then it would mean that Casio has just made the perfect watch. For me at least. You tell me in the comments if you have the updated version of this one and if it has the auto repeat and the fancy blinking light. The fancy blinking light. Please. So this could be perfection if it had those two functions. This could be perfection if it had another function that the GWM5600 has, which is that of the up and down button. The up and down button. So see, if I want to set the time for the alarm, I can go forward, but I cannot go backward. So now it's eight. I want my alarm to be at 7 o'clock. I have to do the whole turn. So reach 15, 16, 24, and then back to 7. Oh, and if I forget... Oh, oh I went past once again. I have to go around completely one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, and now my alarm is set. Whereas on the beautiful GWM5600, you can have your forward button in this case it's the bottom right oh but i wanted my alarm to be at seven o'clock and you have the backwards button seven o'clock you want it at six o'clock again 14 minutes past six there you have it the same you can do of course for the minutes and every other adjustment that you can make on this so forward and backward button on the gwm 5600 is a great feature which is not present in the 
DW5750 and not here so I want my alarm and by the way check my review of the DW290 for for learning how the fancy alarm works on these one and what these dots are for now I can go forward seven o'clock eight o'clock nine o'clock and so on and so forth but there's no button for going backwards so I will have to do a whole turn marvelous DW290 has your auto repeat function in timer mode it has your blinking light thing the light thing with the beautiful turquoise illuminator light it has your local time always displayed in timer mode and in stopwatch mode look at that beautiful but it doesn't have the forward and backward button let's have a look at the g2900 so this one has the forward and backward button you see it also says reverse so 559 it'll be the alarm or forward 659 good cool super cool but what happens with this one there's something missing with this one in fact if we go to timer mode we can see the local time displayed which is a very cool feature you gave us none of your apple watches we had it with your dentist twins my only good drives are right for ticket get a chronometer in if we go to stopwatch mode there's no local time here if I had wanted to use the stopwatch I wouldn't have known what time it was and I could have used this one which does display the time in timer mode has the auto repeat blinking light thing blinking light thing and has your local time displayed in stopwatch mode but does not have the reverse button or I could have used this one which gives you the local time during the stopwatch mode which gives you auto repeat function blinking light thing blinking light thing and local time in timer mode but does not have the reverse and backwards mode so this is to say you have just listened to a bunch of pretty useless chit chat because in the end I had this one I trained Imam just as well I just looked at my watch a bit more frequently to keep the time and everything was just good and perfect I might have waited a couple of seconds more between sets but that was not a problem this is just to say that these are watches which are beautiful you just don't need to have the perfect watch because think about it People have lived very, very well and have trained very, very well with watches doing just this. Just telling the good old time without fancy chronometers, timers, beeping noises or flashing lights. But of course we like our gadgets. Let's just keep in mind that these are gadgets that we don't necessarily need. Out of these four watches, there's just one. This one, which I bought, no, the other ones were all used. They were locked in a drawer somewhere. They weren't being given the love that they deserved. So I bought them and I'm very glad. I, I keep good care of them and they give me joy whenever I watch them. They make me go back in time with my memory to when just seeing the logo of Casio brought me to a fantasy journey in, in magical places in outer space or in some jungle somewhere or in some kind of special adventure but yeah let us not buy heaps of stuff that we do not need and let us love and cherish the things we that make us feel emotions it's not objects that give real happiness as we all know uh, it's relationships and a sense of purpose and my purpose is to end this video here because i i have bored you more than enough oh if you were wondering there's a review of this one coming up with some question about it and i'll see you on the next one what and what you don't need ciao